Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick unboxing video of the Eagle Rack by Rackman IT. This is the new version that has a hinged front with a lock on it. The older version didn't have this, so your equipment would have to go into like a you know, secure area. But this one has a nice hinged front. It's got a spot for the combination lock, which I'll show you in a second. And the combination lock hooks into the actual frame of the unit be hard to open uh, force open at that point but you have in the back here demark area of sorts the rj45 jacks that pass from the back which you can see with the front closed and locked um, you can still access so people can drop off circuits for you for example uh, disconnect things um, without having to have access inside and you can see here they're just regular RJ45 couplers that just pass right through inside. On the back here, you can see you have the screw holes here to mount. Um, I'll show you the screws in a second, but it's similar to a lot of IT equipment. You just put the screws into plywood or what have you uh, attached to the wall already and then they just slide right in the, into place to hold this. So you can slide this down. You have a template here. Got this template to help you mount it or to drill the holes into the wall or the plywood. Mounting hardware, labels for the RJ45 jacks in the back. You got instructions for your combination lock. Combination lock right here. Comes with the mounting hardware to attach to the cabinet. And then you have a whole bag full of mounting hardware. You can see the screws to go into the wall. Um, you got a couple anchors. It's into the concrete, for example. Definitely wouldn't want to put this into sheetrock, preferably wood studs or concrete. You have the actual clips. Um, so the clips, if you're not familiar with these, the clips attach into these square holes. And then that's what allows you to put your rack mount screws through the equipment and then into the mounting hole there. And um, if this isn't obvious, this is what the rack allows you to do. Uh, so you're able to put, in this model, they make a 2RU model and a 4RU model. This is the 4. So you just drop your switch or what have you in here. You mount it, just like I said, with the clip in the back, the screw through the front. And then you close it up. And you can see here, it's got room above it. So for switches, for example, it's mounted vertically like this. You still have plenty of room for cabling inside there. Like I said, you got room for four RU worth of space in this model. It's pretty slick. This would be nice for a maybe a retail space or, or any kind of shared environment where you, you just need a small rack a couple pieces of equipment, maybe just a LAN switch, one WAN router, and it's got room in the bottom here. So not necessarily with this switch in the way here, but you can see. So you move the switch all the way to the end here. You got plenty of room at the bottom to put a small UPS or a cable modem or any kind of extra equipment that can't be rack mounted down at the bottom. If you can see here if you know most SD WAN boxes are only going to be about this steep. So that'll leave you plenty more space at the bottom for other things. And the nice thing about this 4RU model is let's say you just, you just have one switch, you just have one SD WAN equipment, and then you got two RU, or if you wanted to, you could put a UPS in here, a rack mount UPS. You just got to make sure, of course, that there's enough room at the bottom that the UPS isn't too deep, but this 4RU gives you plenty of space. Like I said, a small retail environment, a small office. It's pretty slick. Well, check it out. Again, it's the Eagle Rack, Rack Mount IT. Thanks.